Power plants use enormous quantities of water. Most people don't know this, but a power plant can take in a billion gallons of water per day. And in doing so, it sucks in with that water fish and all other forms of marine life. And the, the small fish and, and other aquatic organisms, fine plankton, get sucked right through the power plant and are, are killed in the plant because of the heat and the stress of, of being sucked through the plant. Bigger fish are trapped on the screens and they can be killed or harmed in this process as well. Enormous numbers of fish, billions and billions of fish and other aquatic organisms are killed through these processes. The Hudson River has been the backbone of New York's economy for hundreds of years. The old, out-of-date power plants on the Hudson River destroy as many as 80% of the young of the year on some of the fish species here in the Hudson. Species like the white catfish and the perch have been decimated because of the intakes from power plants like Indian Point. It's actually a quite simple solution to end the devastation caused by power plants. There's a technology known as closed cycle cooling. All it does is it takes the cooling water and recycles it in cooling towers so it can be reused. Power plants built today have that technology but it's the older plants that refuse to upgrade to, to that technology. If they did and replace their once through cooling systems that they're currently using, we would reduce fish kills by about 95%. The Environmental Protection Agency has come out with a draft rule for power plant intakes that is completely insufficient to protect our rivers, protect our communities, and comply with the Clean Water Act. The Clean Water Act requires power plants use best technology available to control the damage to marine life from these power plants. Environmental groups and uh, many of us that, are, that care about aquatic resources have been fighting for decades since the, since the 1970s to get power plants to use closed cycle cooling. Industry has been opposing that because they don't want to spend one penny more than they are now, even though a modest amount of investment in their plants would protect aquatic resources. So the EPA has caved in once again to that industry pressure. A strong rule of EPA will be hardly noticed by the average American consumer. EPA calculated that electricity prices would rise by less than 1%. That's about the, the cost of the postage stamp that it takes to mail your check into the electric company. Reducing the amount of cooling water that the power plants on the Hudson take by using the closed cycle cooling method isn't just about protecting the natural ecosystem. If you retrofit these plants to protect the fish, you also create jobs. If you require the plants to comply with environmental considerations, you encourage the creation of a sustainable energy base, which we so desperately need as energy becomes more and more precious. If you protect the fish, you develop a recreational fishing industry and you can restore the commercial fishing industry, and that gives us access to local food, which we so desperately need in this country. There would be so many benefits besides just protecting the ecosystem if you required these plants to go to the closed cycle cooling that the Clean Water Act has mandated for several decades now. The time is now and the need is great.